Hey, what is up? So, I've got this tree here. You know, the Lord speaks to me a lot through uh, trees and fruit and, you know, flowers and all that stuff. Just the uh, nature. Um, but I was just thinking, you know, I went through a crazy season. Uh, I felt like I was basically... I, I saw that it was from a lie and I um, feel like I just got basically brought down to some ashes, but I see, you know, I see beauty in it because, you know, God was there all along, but I mean, I had different people praying for me and, you know, it was like, if the mindset's wrong, you can have people praying for you all the time. You can have the, the you know, the most anointed people on the planet praying for you and whatever, you know, is allowing it to stay it could be it's probably a mindset it's probably a lie that you just believed and you gave it some power so you know i felt darkness coming against me in layers um it was like it was getting heavier and heavier and and, and i didn't know how to get out of it and it's you know who it was it was pretty freaky uh, i'm not going to go into all that but you know it's real i've, I've experienced it uh, but God is way bigger, uh, so what I see is He just made me stronger in the process. But a wrong mindset or a wrong li a lie, if you will, can just be uh, intensified if you just believe wrong about it. Like that, that, that you're, you know, let's say God can't look at you the same way because of what you've done or, or what you thought. Um, but it's lies, you know. So anyway, I just, I believe, uh, you know, he led me out here for a reason. I just came out to do the video. I, this wasn't going to be part of it, but I walked over here and saw it immediately. So these are just, you see these things hanging here, this moss, this moss hanging off. That's a growth on a tree. And I started looking around. These, you can see these little this moss is basically, it's a growth. It's kind of like mistletoe. It's actually a cancer. And so a cancer, you know, is going to limit the fruit uh, as far as like what this tree is going to produce. I'm not talking about this cancer in the bodies. I'm just talking about wrong mindsets. Um, but anyway, get rid of the lies. You know, you might have to just forgive yourself. Maybe that's that's the biggest thing. Um, it's really huge to forgive. Uh, Jesus said, don't just forgive seven times, but seven times 70. And so maybe it is, you know, yourself you need to forgive. Maybe um, you just need to let yourself go because God's already forgiven you of everything. Uh, he said your sins are as far as the east is from the west, never to be remembered again. So that's really powerful. So if he can forgive you for everything, why can't you forgive yourself for what you've fallen victim to? Some kind of trap, some kind of, um, yeah, just like a, a trap. There's traps everywhere set up all over the world. Um, and some things may have been done to you that you didn't have control over and you think, what did you do wrong? Or somebody else got hurt because you thought maybe you, maybe you told somebody something or maybe, you know, there's just so many variations of that so just i hope this lands with you watching this today um but god is way bigger than these layers of darkness or this oppression or heaviness that can come on you um if you just believe his truth and sit with him and know how crazy he is in love with you um you know uh, i can remember the father's love letter i used to read it to a lot of my patients and uh I hadn't done that in a while. I gave out a lot of them and printed them in different languages and taken them on mission trips and, uh, over the years. But he says, I know the beginning, I remember it. I read it so many times. My child, you may not know me, but I know all about you. I am familiar with all your ways. Even the very hairs on your head are numbered. For you were made in my image. In me, you live and move and have your being. For you are my offspring. I knew you before I planned creation. You're no mistake, for all your days are written in my book. I determined the exact place that you would live and be born. Uh, that's, these are paraphrased, but they're all scripture. Um, 
I've been misrepresented by those who don't know me. I'm not distant and angry, but am the complete expression of love. And it's my desire to lavish my love on you simply because you're my child and I am your father. I offer you more than your earthly father ever could, for I am the perfect father and I meet all your needs. I will never stop doing to you, doing good to you. I rejoice over you uh, with singing. Um, anyway, so those are words from the scriptures. Um, but, you know, it's very powerful. If you want to read that, the whole letter, it's, uh, you can go to myfathersloveletter.com and uh, it's powerful. And they even have kid kid versions, but it's it's all paraphrased. It's all the scripture. It tells you the scripture and everything. So anyway, look, God is way bigger than um, the lies and the things that hold us back. Just you know, you are so loved. You're so amazing. You're so worthy of His love to receive His love. Um, you're a favored one. You know, we're all favored ones. There's no respecters of persons with God. Um, just the more you get to hang out with him and know him, just, you know, if you want to keep it simple, I'm not saying keep, keep it so simple. You don't want to grow. I'm saying keep it simple in the, in the sense that you can complicate it by overthinking things. I mean, it's great that we, he gave us brains to think, but to have the right mindset to keep my mind on things above what's good, what's admirable, what's praiseworthy, what's lovely. Um, and not the distractions or the lies that we sometimes get caught up in. So I hope this helps you out. This is, uh, it's definitely helped me out. I've, I've experienced the, the good side of it, the bad side of it. Um, and I just feel like, I mean, just even recently, this was like a, almost a two year wilderness that, you know, it's a really, I don't even like talking about that kind of stuff because, you know, I'm, I don't, I never want to be somebody who's just negative or anything. But, you know, I was like crying out for help, but didn't know how to really say it. And God was just letting me figure it out on my own uh, with him. And so just the truth will set you free. I mean, it's it's. And then the truth will allow the Holy Spirit to really uh, where the Holy Spirit is, there's a liberty. I mean, he's he's ready, but it's almost like if we're if we're not forgiving, if we're believing a lie, then the, the Holy Spirit can't really do his work but he's there with the truth but but if you're believing a lie it's like that has some type of a dominion in that area um so it's just like cleaning it out like hey you know you're forgiven god forgives me he loves me he loves you like the, he doesn't look at you um and and condemn you or make you feel like you're you're not worthy enough to receive his love he's like just come hang out with me and I made you, I designed you. I know you better than you know yourself. So anyway, I love you and uh, I hope this really blesses you today. Have an amazing day. All right. Bye.